John from J.O. Ventures Outdoors, and today I have an open tag response to Factors of Jack. Now, I've been watching Jack's channel for several years and just recently have been able to interact with him a little bit. He is just a super nice guy. Um, you need to go over and check out Factors of Jack. He's got great content. He does his, um, uh, the knives he carried uh, for that particular week, he does, he does that every week. Uh, he's always finding um, a really great variety of uh, pocket knives that he uses and EDC gear, and he reviews uh, lots of different models. And so um, I am really, really enjoy his channel, enjoy interacting with him. Um, just a great guy. He's participated in our traveling knives, and uh, we've traded some gifts back and forth. So, Jack, I appreciate you and appreciate this open tag. But I have to tell you, this was a difficult one to make choices on. Uh, I have many more slip joints that I enjoy carrying, um, but I'm trying to, to to give you my top five and uh, that I really like. And I'll have to say right off the bat, most of them are case, but um, uh, four of them are. So um, let's get into it here. So my favorite slip joint is my mahogany bone sodbuster jr with the carbon steel and uh there you can see uh, the tang stamp it's a 6137 of course usa um, and it is uh, a carbon steel and uh, looks like it might even be getting a little bit of rust there on the bottom there so i'm gonna have to do a little work on that but uh yeah it's uh got the teeners for sure and uh I just really enjoy this knife, really enjoy it. And so that is my uh, my number one, K Sod Buster Jr., the mahogany bone. My number two here is uh, the Case Mini Trapper. Now I've really enjoyed the Mini Trapper um, and I, I like the size. I, I like the full-size trapper too. I almost chose it, um, but I don't know. I just really like the size of the mini trapper. And this one's got the uh, composite, the smooth synthetic black handles, which I think are just so gorgeous. The fit and finish on this one is great. This was a Shepherd Hills uh, exclusive, and it's got the carbon steel. There's the clip point, half stops. I enjoy half stops on my slip joints. There it is, 2207 CS. Very good action. Awesome action. Of course, I have slips for all of these. Um, here's the slip for the Saudi. And then uh, here's the slip for the, uh, I think that's one for one of the others. No, it's this black one. This black one is for the uh, is for the trapper. So yeah, I got slips for all of them. The other one I really enjoy is the uh, the uh, slimline trapper. Couldn't think of the name of it there for a minute. Uh, there's the Tang stamp. Uh, Was that thirty one zero four eight CS USA? Um, really nice slicey blade. This is the yellow Delrin with the carbon steel. And I, I bought this, I was out with my brother-in-law and we were shopping for case knives and they had this. I thought, I really want to try a Slimline Trapper. I really, really like this knife. I um, enjoy carrying this quite a bit and it's got some nice snap there. So uh, just enjoy that one quite a bit as well. Uh, then also I have the case, uh, I think this is a 6318, and uh, this is the one with, yeah, there it is, 60, no, it's the third, yeah. yeah, it's hard to see the number there, but I think it's 3318, CS, USA, uh, really hard to see through the camera, yeah, 33. 18 CS. It's got J.O. Ventures Outdoors on the scales. Uh, this was a gift from Michael, es Michael Espinoza. It's got the carbon steel and 
this really cool Turkish clip point. And I think that's what I really like about this one. And uh, she's got the teeners too. I use it quite a bit and uh, I enjoy carrying this. Now this is the one I carry in this slip right here. So yeah, just a great knife. Enjoy that quite a bit. Small Stockman. Now recently I really wanted to, this is number five, I really wanted to try a large Stockman, and I'm going to eventually get a 75, a K75. I'm, that's on my list. Uh, probably this June when I go to the Case event, that's probably what I'm going to be hunting for. But um, I thought in the meantime, I watched a video by Last Chance Knives about the Rough Rider and the Rough Rider Large Stockman in the Classic Carbon series, and this is it right here. And so I picked one up. Uh, less than $20, and it's got carbon steel as well, the T10, and I just, I have really enjoyed this. Let's see if I can see the number. It's the 1740, the Rough Rider 1740. This is a China-made knife. It's got um, half stops, that big old clip point. Now, I've enjoyed carrying a large stockman look at that and the fit and finish on this is actually pretty good i mean there are some minor gaps and that kind of thing but nothing nothing major um and i've just really enjoyed carrying this a lot and um of course i like the yellow uh, delrin and i like having that large stockman and i carry that in this slip and of course we have rds wood turning beads on these. This is a Randy's WSG slip. So I have an honorable, honorable mention. And so I know we're just choosing five. These are my top five, but one I like to carry occasionally that I'm very impressed with is the brother, um, the brother 1508. Um, it's got VG10 steel. I've shown this before. This was part of a trade. Um, for some leather work, it's got half stops, great snap. Um, and this is a brother, um, and it's got that nice worn cliff blade. So if I want a worn cliff blade and I'm wanting something, you know, a slip joint, um, then I will grab that one right there. So that's my honorable mention. So go check out Ch Factors of Jack. Um, he's got a great channel. Appreciate it very much, Jack, this open tag, and thank you all for watching.